Hey, yo, word to your moms. This sandwich goes harder than trigonometry. Hey, what's going on, fam? I'm out here right now in Wallingford, Connecticut at a spot called 619 Supper Club. Uh, pretty much they got a five-star rating, man. Heard the food game over here is a little wild, a little crazy. I'm about to see what it's hitting on, real luxurious style, like. Let's check it out. I tried to be her everything, gave my everything I sold out. Now just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left. Hollow, emptied out, but got lost, can't be found. You stole every bit of me. Can't remember. Nice little spot, foodie fam. Um, right off of a side road. Very easy to find. Got some decent parking up off over here. Walk inside. Again, real casual, real luxurious style. About to grab up on this menu, see what we're about to order. Sit back, relax, and comfortable. You know what happens next. Ooh, like it. This is your first time here? Yes, okay. that it is. Great, glad to have you. So we do offer our full menu all day. That's okay. This big one over here. Food on the front, drinks on the back. Uh, but we do have everything on there from like salads, if you wanted to do um, like kind of like smaller appetizer portions, mm -hmm. things on that. But we also have our lunch menu, mostly sandwiches on that. Okay. Uh, but a couple brunch items, like we have avocado toast, we have a pork belly fried rice, which is really, really good. Ooh. So you can kind of go either route. All right. Um, and again, aside from the cocktails that we do have, we have a full bar as well. All right. Thank you. Um, I can start you with some water. Do you have a preference on bottled sparkling or spring? Um, Otherwise, I have iced tap. Ice tap is fine. Okay. Do you like anything to drink aside from water? No. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So at the menu, you have your starters, your salads, you have your mains, and you have your sides. We do have our uh, flatbread today. Okay. Uh, that's going to be done four cheese style. So we bought Gouda, Parm Parmesan, and mozzarella, done with oh. uh, spinach, a garlic puree, and a balsamic glaze. Mm -hmm. um, our soup of the day, if you wanted to do the um, either sandwiches or our soup, we have um, roasted carrot and ginger. It'll be done with a little bit of a crema on top and fried carrots. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a, a sliced prime rib sandwich today. That actually sounds good. Uh, all right. I definitely have to start with the, the house rolls. Okay. Um, that sandwich sounds good to me. It is excellent. Um, we ran it yesterday, and people mm -hmm. were like, "This is fantastic." They're loving it. They're like, "It has to be on the menu all the time." Okay, let's 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 make that happen. That's special, so mm -hmm. well, we'll we'll make that happen as well. Then okay. I'll get the sandwich here, yeah. and that will come with your choice of the side. So you could do soup, salad, or fries. I will do, we'll do the regular fries. Okay, that work. Got it. And we'll start. And I'm curious. I'm curious about the mac and cheese as well. So I'm gonna get the mac and cheese too. Okay. Any preference on how it comes out? Do you want to do the mac and cheese and the rolls together? Or would you like me to? Bring yeah, we'll do the mac and cheese and rolls together. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. You got it. All right. Thank you. Can I keep the menus? Of course. Thanks. All right, guys. So we are going outside of the regular menu. We're gonna grab a special today because that sandwich sounds too good. I mean, I know y'all heard a little sun. That sandwich sounds crazy. So I definitely want to check it out. But they look. They this menu. It isn't too extensive. And I think a lot of my foodie fam that watch this channel, we all pretty much are on the same page. Like, minimize the menu. Have items that you're really good at and focus on those items without multiple pages, things all over the place, and things coming out 50-50. There's a reason that this is almost a five-star restaurant, and I want to check it out for myself. And they do have on the lunch menu, albacore melt, grilled cheese, they have a Reuben, a Caprice fried chicken sandwich, fish tacos, pork belly fried rice, and I probably should have jumped on that as well. The avocado toast and the Aki bowl. And then you have a social hour. Social hour is Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., excluding on Tuesdays. The $4 bottle beers, you have $5 house red and white wines, uh, $10 bites. So you have the $10 burger, fried chicken sandwich, bottle bottle buns, the flatbread, like she had mentioned earlier, shrimp gyoza, dip trio board. Ooh, dip trio board sound crazy. And avocado mousse garlic hummus. Hmm. Uh, 619 drum wings, meatballs, mac and cheese, mussels. Fam, sit back, relax, get comfortable. I think we have a little bit of food coming out.
All right, foodie fam, real quick, got a quick story to share with you guys. So the restaurant is called 619 Supper Club. And the woman that just took my order, she actually came back over after I shut everything down and shared with me that she and her husband actually met when they were in San Diego. And 619 being the area code for San Diego, uh, ended up coming up over here to Connecticut, opened this restaurant December 1st of 2023. So they've only been open for a few months, calling it the Supper Club for that social element, right? Coming with friends, coming with family, and, you know, kind of close-knit for the most part, but for everybody to pretty much chop it up and then over some good food at the end of the day. So I think that story was quite amazing. I like that, like that little background right there. And so let's sit back, let's wait for the food and see what it's hitting on. Mac and cheese and our Parker house rolls have just arrived. And this is a different kind of spread when it comes to the bread game. Mmm. Okay. Pull apart our bread game now. Here's the butter off to the side. You have the regular salted butter. At least that is like a hazelnut butter. And this is a jalapeno butter. So I, that's definitely different on our breadboard over here. And then we have the mac and cheese. All right. A little more better cheddar up off in there. Creamy little thing, right? Creamy little boo thing. Ooh, can't wait to get into that, too. All right, let's get into that first. Come on over here, mac and cheese. Don't, don't play with your boy like that. Don't play with my emotions. Being served in a cast iron type skillet. And that's how you really keep the food nice and warm, too, when it's coming out. Now, I've definitely learned that over the years. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A little spoonful, y'all. Family, what are you thinking? Hit me in the comment section below. This is a nice little steamy dream right here. Mac and cheese is going hard on the boulevard, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's a mac and cheese creamy dream right there. Noodles, perfect. Definitely nice and smooth. Great flavor on the cheese combination. And I believe I have a little bit of pork up off in there because I'm getting a nice little saltiness. Salty and savory. And that's how mac and cheese is really going down over here at the 619 Supper Club. Get that little bite, because I know you're hungry. I know, you, I know you're hungry. Mmm. Wow. Outside of a lot of soul food spots that I slide to, when I see mac and cheese on the menu, I'm always curious. And usually, I would say over maybe 70% of the time, as we've seen, I've been disappointed. I am far from disappointed with their mac and cheese up over here. We got the spiral noodles. Ah, taste that like a heavy cream. There's not no basic bland cheese sauce on there. This right here is that homegrown great cheeses. Mm. Again, we can taste the cheddar up off in there, and I'm pretty sure that they have more than cheddar going on. This is a multiple cheese blend right here, family. Oh, and this is messing up your boy. I'm lactose intolerant, but well, I, is this going to be worth it? What I'm about to go through later, this is definitely going to be worth it. Mmm, this is some of the best mac and cheese I've had in a while. In a long while. Look at that cheese just string. Mmm, ooh, family. That next bite, I got caramelized onion in here too. Not only is it flavorful, they added in the onion. I never had mac like that. I never had mac like that, hold yourself, hold yourself. Wow, mac and cheese is a blessing. I really gotta get to the bread, I have to. I'm curious. So far we're working with something. It got me really looking forward to the sandwich now. Again, pull up our bread. Mm. I'm sorry, that's honey butter. The sweetness, well-preserved, toasted up, a little bit of crisp, nice little softness going on. Put the honey butter to it. Wow, bread's not half bad at all. I'm gonna take that with me. I'm over here cleansing. Water from the tap. I told y'all, trying to do better. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to bring the mac and cheese back. It was over there just looking at me, just eyeballing me. Look, steam's still coming up, still hot. Mac and cheese got no business being that good, none at all. Not even a little bit. Right off the top, 
for the mac and cheese, five all day on the play. For the rolls, you know, a little honey butter activity, but the three butter option, I'm gonna give that one a four out the door, no doubt. We'll be back. Main course is on its way. What do you think of the rolls? The rolls? Is that garlic? Dill. Dill. Dill, Dill. And cottage cheese. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Nah. That, again, first time for me on that one. And um, it's not that bad. It works out great with the honey butter. Yeah. You know, it's like, again, I, I see what you, what you do is like a lot of contrasts with the food. Yeah. And also you're not just getting just one straight shot, right? Like there, there was like, for me, I always like call it like an emotional roller coaster ride. Yeah. You know, when, when I'm eating and if any establishment can take me through that emotional roller coaster ride from something that I've known and I know mac and cheese forever. Yeah. Right. But you guys, you, you've elevated, you've changed it for me. And I, I appreciate it. That's good. Good. It's really Excellent. Good. Really yeah. Good. And with, I mean, with the rolls, it's, you know, being in, a, in an area where it's, you know, predominantly Italian around mm -hmm. there, even the restaurants, a lot of them are Italian. So they're so expected to get the bread and butter. We do bread service here, you know, so we wanted to make sure, like, we weren't just giving you frozen rolls yes, and right. a, a butter chip. Right. We actually, like, do the butter in-house. We do three different ones. They're, they're bread made to order. So at least people be like, all right, well, I'm paying for, yeah, I'm paying for bread, but this is, like, not Italian, like I said, not right. Italian rolls that you're getting in a, at the other restaurants. Not to say there's anything bad no, about no, it. No, 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 right. there's nothing bad about that, but for the fact that they know that they can come here and they're still going to get their bread service, but yeah. it's, it's going to be house made and it's yeah. going to be different. It's not going to be what you expect. No, exactly. And it's still going to be good. Good. Right? All right. So that works. Glad you like it. That works. Thank you. So finishing a little, do you want me to leave everything? Oh, yeah. I can wrap it. Yeah, can please, please, it. please, please wrap it. Please do. Okay. All right. I, ne I never ever get to finish food anymore. No, that's okay. But you got to try it. My, my, my world of sampling is all I ever do these days. No problem. But it's amazing. Good. You guys are doing an excellent job. Thank you. All right, correction. I'm learning today. Today's a day of learning. And I think that's more important than anything else that wasn't garlic. Said that was dill and what was it, cottage cheese, I believe. Which again, the flavors threw me. And it just looked like it was garlic. So that's why I told you guys it was garlic, but I was wrong. And I'm going to be wrong a million times over, you know? And I think that's good. Because in the food space, you could always learn something new every single day. But I wanted to make sure that I told her how amazing it is. If something's bad, I want to be able to tell an owner, a chef, or whomever. And if something's amazing, I want to be able to deliver that to them direct. You know, that's what this, this is all about, this new style of food reviews. You know, some of you guys may love it, some of you guys may hate it. I understand, but you know me, I'm always trying to evolve on this channel, make this channel a little bit better. And not something that's just been carrying the same old vibe since 2009 when I started the channel, when it was just all fast food. We're still going to do fast food. We're not going to step away from what it is that we know here. But I, I want to experience more. I want to get out of my comfort zone more. And I'm glad you guys are with me for that. Now on to the main course. The sandwich comes with a nice little gravy to dip it into. Oh, and then of course the salt to the fries. Let's go ahead and grab one of these fries real quick, man. Y'all see that pepper on that fry right there? Mm-hmm. Mmm, that flavor is right on time. A very light crisp to the fry. It's still good. Yo, hold on. Hold on. Look at that. Look, 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 family. Oh. Yo, crazy. Oh, look at that cheesy it is, too. Fam, what are you thinking? Somebody hit me in the comment section below. Let me know what's going on. Mm. 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 Wow. The rugula pretty much balances out the bite of the meat itself. The meat, extremely tender, a nice slice cut going with the grains of the meat so you can actually just bite through and get very minimal chew, but so much seasoning is actually going on. The bread itself, you would think we have a bakery next door. Well, how fresh the bread game is. Now, we do have a little bit of greasiness coming up off the beef up over here. But, family, let me tell you something right now that arugula is setting this thing off, baby. Now, I, I got to dip it. I have to dip it. I, I'm sorry. Y'all going to be mad at me. Y'all going to be... Oh. Man? Yeah. Say what you say. But I'm telling you right now, if anybody takes a bite of this right here, you're going to be sent 
to an elevated sandwich heaven. This is a special on the menu. Yes, it needs to be permanent on the menu. This right here, so many great flavors, great savoriness, light saltiness, very minimal earth tones on the bite right here. Don't worry about anything less than being deep rooted, caramelized onion, just kind of carrying this thing through. Oh my gosh, you better get over here. Mm, that gravy is rich, providing a nice little wetness to it. Mm, I would change nothing, I would add nothing. So good, I want to dip one of these fries into that gravy. Mm. A nice saltiness to it, and that brown stew gravy. I think that is. Add in the salt and pepper from the fries, and that's a little potato activity. Mm -hmm. Potatoes and gravy always go. Yeah. But it's for dessert. Mm. But I think I'm thinking I want to go with the creme brulee cheesecake. That sounds amazing right there. Two great classics, creme brulee layered with cheesecake, hand fired and mirrored with a burnt caramel. All right, fam. So it looks like we have, boom, strawberries on top of our creme brulee cheesecake, powdered sugar. And it looks like a raspberry puree at the base over here for extra flavor. Ooh. Oh. It smells so fruity and delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Very creamy. The raspberry is coming through for a nice little pop on the ending of our cheesecake here. I see where the brulee comes out. I see where that, when you're having like a regular creme brulee and that consistency almost close to like a flan, you're getting that more than you're getting the consistency of a regular cheesecake. Nice, very light sweetness to it. It's good. It is good. And you get that caramel right there too, a little sticky icky. Mm. Not too much, Dame. I really can't be going hard at all. I need to wash it down a little bit of water. But family, my experience here at 619 has been nothing short of amazing. Um, great staff here, very friendly. Definitely a newer spot, so if you're in the Connecticut way or you find yourself in Wallingford, Connecticut, you might want to definitely stop by, check out some of the other dishes that they serve up here. I'm definitely going to give them an overall five all day on the play. Amazing. Nothing short of amazing here. Nothing short at all, baby. With a little bit of water. She made me a damn drops. See you next video. Oh, my God.